14 million Americans are out of work. The unemployment rate stuck at 9.1 percent. In the face of these troubling figures, one union leader is calling for American companies to step up and start hiring American workers. 13 Times' Angela Hong joins us now in the newsroom. Angela, you took that statement and you brought it to a local expert. What did he have to say? Well, Adam, RIT professor Ron Hira says it's easier said than done. He agrees that something needs to change to create more American jobs, but we can't rely on American companies to do it on their own without any incentives. There's no question, at 9% unemployment, Americans need jobs, and some people say those jobs need to stop going abroad. There's billions of dollars in the economy. There's trillions of dollars overseas sitting offshore. Uh, uh, they're hoarding the money, and then you say, oh, look, there's unemployment. Well, solve it by starting to spend your money. Invest in America. Teamsters President James Hoffa recently called out American corporations like Apple, saying they were unpatriotic for outsourcing. Because they are American corporations, and they should have a nationalistic belief that they have to put this country first. And they're not doing that, and we're letting them get away with it. RIT professor Ron Hira and co-author of the book Outsourcing America says this rhetoric will do no good. I think the approach that we should have is not one where we're attacking CEOs. They're not evil people. They're not Benedict Arnold's. They're not unpatriotic, but they're not you can't rely on their patriotism either. He says many companies which we consider to be American are actually global corporations and their CEO's interests will be on the bottom line and the shareholder's price. For example, an American CPA for an American company would earn seventy to eighty thousand dollars a year. That same job for the same company in India would only cost seven thousand dollars. And so what we need to do is realign their interests, the share prices with job creation in the U.S. For Hira, the solution lies in changing the incentive structure so that companies would profit from hiring American employees. We've got to talk to our policymakers and say it's not acceptable uh, what's going on. James, Ho James Hoffa's statements come before President J Obama's job speech this coming Thursday. Hoffa says he expects the president is expected to, uh, he wants the president rather, to roll out a bold plan to boost employment. Live in the newsroom, Angela Hong, 13 a.m. News.